Good morning, Father. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Welcome, family. Welcome, family. This is day three of our Proverbs challenge. We are doing a challenge, and this is our third day, and the challenge is titled, A Proverb A Day Keeps Distractions Away. Good morning, guys. Pray that you guys are having an amazing morning. I tell you, I'm excited about what God is doing. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. We're going to share eight minutes of wisdom. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what you're doing in this day. We thank you for life and strength and energy. And Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for those who are watching. I pray, Father, that you would touch the lives and, and the family members of those who are watching. Keep them safe and protect and bless all things that concern them. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what you have done already. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's go to Proverbs. Good morning, guys. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 3. And I'm going to read verse 5 to 6 in the New King James Version. Do me a favor, though. I need you to share this video, okay? So press share right now, okay? It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. I want to tell you that trust, not love, is the most important thing in a relationship. Just because I love you, it does not mean I trust you. I can love you and not trust you. And if you, have, if you don't have trust in a relationship, that relationship has no power. That relationship can go anywhere because... Your relationship with God would only go to the level of trust that you have in him. If you don't have trust in God, that relationship will not go nowhere. Love will not sustain your human or your spiritual relationships. So you cannot be in relationship with anyone just on love. Love would not sustain it. It has to be based on trust. Your relationship would only go to the limit of your trust. Now, let me say this to you. You can trust God. You can trust God with all of your heart. You really, really can. Let me tell you why you can trust God with all of your heart. You can trust God with all of your heart because his name is on the line. Yeah. I want you to see it this way. God is the manufacturer. You are the product. When God made you, he put his stamp, his label, his name on you. Somebody say wisdom. God put his name on you. So if God put his name on you, his name is on the line. If you don't look good, guess who does not look good? Come on, talk to me this morning. Talk to me. Somebody say wisdom. If you don't look good, guess who does not look good? You got it. God. God has to come through. God has to protect. God has to bless. God has to provide because his name is on the line. Listen, here is the great news. It is not even about you. It's about his name. And God's going to do all he must. Follow what I'm saying to you. God will do all he must, all he can to protect his name. His name is everything and God will not have his name tarnished. So that's why it says in Psalms chapter 23, verse three, look what it says. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Come on. I'm going to say it again. Listen to me. I'm about to shout. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his names say it's not for your name so that's the reason why you can trust god you can trust god with all your heart i know there's sometimes you want to know how this is going to work and how this is going to happen but that's not what trust is trust is knowing that even though you don't know the path you are connected to the person who does trust is saying even though i don't understand if i go to him and ask for understanding and clarity in due season when I'm ready for it. He will give me the answer to what I'm asking for. So you can trust him, not with some of your heart. 
you can trust them with your total heart. And if you could be honest, if you go back down memory lane, isn't he faithful? Isn't God faithful? The reason why you can trust him is this right here, guys. He has never failed you. Never will. Why? Why would God never fail you? Write this in the comment section. His name is on the line. Write that. God will not fail me because his name's on the line. Write that in the comment section. God will not fail me because his name is on the line. And for that reason, he's going to protect his name. He has a name that's above every single name. And that name is Jesus. He's going to protect the name of Jesus. And that name is well respected in heaven, earth, and beneath the grave. In, the, in, in, in hell, the name is respected because his name, watch this, is not tarnished. His name is not tarnished because he protects his name. Father, we thank you for protecting your name. We thank you that we are sealed as your product. We are stamped with your name. And because we are sealed and stamped with your name, you will not fail us. You can't. Here is the good news. God cannot fail you because you came attached with his name. I shout when I think that because it's not about me at this point. It's about him protecting his name. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Praise God. Praise God. It's all about his name. You guys go out there. Have an amazing day. And for those of you who are coming at 7 p.m. at Pies and Pint for our back to school celebration, we're going to see you guys there. We're going to have lots of fun. You guys go out there and have an incredible day. Enjoy your weekend. And just keep this in your mind that God cannot, he will not and cannot fail you. Why? Why can he not do it? Because his name is on the line. His name is on the line. And keep saying that. God, you can't fail me. Your name on the line. You can't fail me. Your name is on the line. I'm going to see you guys tonight and also see you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to keep this going, guys, right? We're going to keep this going for 30 straight days, and this is day three, okay? So I'm going to see you guys um, tonight and also tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you, and may the Lord give you peace. God bless you guys. See you guys later. Peace.